I grew up with this broken skyline, the muted colors and the way the light falls. It's Dunwall, but it's not. Have I changed, or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah, but you will. the Duke's brother so long ago, would any of this have happened? straight than I would have expected. Bring down a tyrant and his cronies without leaving a wake of bodies. And borrow the mine. No one will ever know exactly. Feels like another lifetime living in the tower. Sir Konos has a better duke now, even if no one else knows it. At least the situation with the duke is behind us. Let's not forget that small detail in all this. It's my hope that you have some sort of plan. It could be tricky. She might not give me any choice but to fight. And Delilah deserves whatever she gets. At my age, I've come to distrust words like deserve. As I told you, I knew her long ago. Badly wounded, deep at her center, 
but cunning and looking for a way to pull herself up. Perhaps more than anything, Delilah had a talent for imagining the world as a better place. If only that could have been channeled towards something less twisted. It's probably too late to dwell on regrets. Yes, you're right. In any case, please watch yourself. I've come to care a great deal about you. Goodbye, Anton. Megan is waiting for you on the deck outside. She seemed cagey earlier, even more than usual. You took the worst Karnaka had to offer and acquitted yourself superbly. Good luck with Delilah. I fear for the Empire if you fail. Remember, the people of the city might have endured a great deal since you were driven from Dunwall. Desperate times. I've got maybe one more chapter left in my own tale. Hopefully a chapter set next to a roaring fire in Tivia. Toppling the Duke must give you a sense of peace. Maybe a better day will be born of it. It would be interesting to study why the Bloodflies have never taken hold here. Time. If I only had more time. Goodbye, Emily. I suspect I'll not see you again. There you are. I wanted a chance to talk. Megan. People have called me that for a long time, but it's a lie. My name is Billy Lurk. Everyone's full of secrets. Why do I feel like you've got more to say? Yeah. I can't believe I'm telling you this, but you deserve the truth. I'll just say it. Fifteen years ago, I ran with a mercenary gang. We got paid to kill people. Some who deserved it, some who didn't. The boss pulled me up from the Dunwall slums when I had nothing and had run out of rope. I... This is hard to admit. Whatever it is, spit it out. Our leader was the assassin Dowd, and I was part of the crew. Our last big job together. We were paid to. You helped Dowd kill my mother? Yes. I don't know what else to say. I've lived a very long time wishing I could take that day back. But I can't. I can't ever forgive you for what you did. But suffering has a way of twisting people. You're a different woman today than you were then. Yeah. We've all been hurt. But not all of us did what I did. Or became what Delilah became. I know you'll never get over it. But neither will I. I hope not. Goodbye, Billy. I'm taking the skiff, and I'll go alone from here. I can't deny it. Traveling with you has changed me. I know you want to face her alone, but good luck. Remember, even if you pull off whatever trick you're planning for Delilah, she won't be easy to beat. I'm glad Sokolov was awake to say goodbye. How is it the old man cured the plague all those years ago, but can't eat without getting food on his shirt? In my time here, the Dunwall City Watch was just a bunch of drunkards and layabouts. No wonder half of them turned on you. Goodbye, Emily.
Jessamine and I played parlor games in Dunwall Tower. She cheated every time. It was 1831. He came to her, to me, to us. Said I, we could change it all and make the world right. Oh, so long ago, we ran across the rooftops, made campfires in the graveyard, slept through the day. If old Samuel could see me now, 